Hey there and welcome. My name is Cinnamon and in this video we are going to be talking about how to very quickly make a blog post template in the back end of Squarespace. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Here we go. Okay, so I am logged into the back end of my website and I am at the pages navigation. I'm going to scroll down to my blog and I'm going to create the template. So basically all you need to do is create a new post. And when you would want to do this is if when you're blogging, you constantly follow the same kind of format in your blog post. This will just save you time so you don't have to recreate um, the format every single time you um, create a new blog post. So in my blog post, I typically will have um, a little bit of text up at the top. Then I will have an image. So I'm going to go ahead and include an image block. Then I'm going to include another text block. And then you know, depending on the blog post, I might have multiple images. If I'm a wedding photographer, I might include a gallery block, um, maybe a stacked gallery block, if that's something I include typically in my, in my uh, blog posts. But whatever you are typically doing, you can add those blocks in. And then at the bottom, I typically will add in, actually, I'm going to take this gallery blog post out just because it's long, or this gallery block. I'm going to take that out. So below this text box, I'm going to add a line. Then I'm going to add a call to action because I like to add call to actions in every single blog post. I'm going to say interested in working together. And I'm going to center that. I'm going to make this heading two. Then I'm going to add a button that says contact me. And I'm going to link that to my contact page on my website. page and I am going to open that in a new window and then I'm going to click save. So this button is now um, connected to the contact me button or the contact me page. I'm going to add another line. So, so now that call to action is just always there and then I always add at the bottom of every blog post a summary carousel. So I'm going to add that going to my blog. I'm going to take out the header text. I'm going to change the aspect ratio to two to three standard vertical because that's how my blog post template graphics work. I'm going to do four posts per row. And then since I have my titles on my actual thumbnails, I'm going to not include the titles down here below. So on the display, I'm going to take out the metadata, I'm going to take out the title, and I'm going to just leave them just like that. And I'm not going to filter by category because this will be just a general blog post. When I create another blog post, I could filter by category from there. So I'm going to click apply. So I have my call to action. I have my summary block at the bottom leading to other blog posts. And then I'm going to just leave the categories and tags because my blog, my blog posts are typically vary by category. So that's not something I would necessarily want to set up in the template. Then in the title, I'm going to call this blog post template so that I always know that this is my template and I'm going to leave it on draft and then I'm going to just click save. So now this blog post template will always be here in my blog role as a draft post. So if I want to use this to create a new blog post, all I need to do is click edit. And then down here at the bottom, I can click duplicate. Save. That will cre create a new blog post for me that I can just edit. And then I can just use this to create my new blog post, whatever that blog post is going to be about. So we'll just say that this one will be about how to create a blog post template in Squarespace. I will need to update my URL. How to create blog post space. I go back to the content and then I can go ahead and write out my caption. I can, or not my caption, I can write out my blog post. I can add in my thumbnail. I don't have to add in the call to action because that's already there. My summary block is already here. However, I am going to change the category on the summary block to display Squarespace posts since this post will be about Squarespace. So now it will filter it down to all of the posts that are categorized by Squarespace. I'm going to categorize this Squarespace. And we'll categorize it blogging as well. 
And then I will also uh, add a tag, blog tips, Squarespace hacks. Save. And then now I have this brand new blog post that's been created. All I need to do is just fill in the content. Uh oh, this is wrong here. So let's go back and change that. It looks like I didn't take out the excerpt option in the summary block. I don't know why that post has an excerpt on it. Under display, I'm going to take that out. Perfect. Okay, now I'm ready to go with that blog post. And it was very simple to just create that template. And I don't need to, you know, go in and create the call to action and create the summary block. It'll just be in there based off of blog post template. So you just want to make sure that you leave this here and that when you are going in, you are duplicating the post and then you're always having a template available for you in your blog role. So I hope you found that uh, helpful and cheers and happy blogging. Bye.